Lofts can be created using as many profiles as you wish. Here I have a loft that used four profiles, each an individual sketch. In addition to creating individual sketches to use as profiles, you can also add profiles after the loft is created. To do this, right-click on one of the faces created by an existing loft and select Add Loft section from the pop-up menu. A temporary plane will appear, along with drag handles to help you position it. You can drag the plane anywhere along the loft. Notice a profile is shown to indicate what the shape of the cross-section is at the location of the temporary plane. If you move your pointer over the edge of the temporary plane, you'll be able to click and drag to rotate the plane. Once again, a preview of the cross-section that will result. If you wish to be more specific about the location of the loft section, you can select an existing plane as a reference. To do this, check the Use Selected Plane in the Property Manager and choose a plane from the Feature Manager tree. The plane you select can't be at the exact location of a profile you're already using. It also has to be in an orientation where adding a loft profile would make sense. For instance, selecting the top plane in this example would not work. When you're happy with the position of the new loft profile, click OK. If you decide to remove the added loft profile, edit the loft and remove the profile from the list. The profile will become an unused sketch that you can delete if you wish.